Ladies and got gentlemen, that's your International Space Station right there, coming over the rockets, heading toward the moon. It's a beautiful sight. And you've got six human beings on that little point of light, traveling at right 18,000 miles per hour. Isn't it just amazing that we could tell you exactly when it was going to fly overhead? That really is rocket science, isn't it? And the Navy told us where. You bet. It's going to fly almost right through the moon. Look that's at great. that. Isn't that gorgeous? Take some pictures, folks. That's a very rare occasion right there. That's just a beautiful thing. Hello, space station. There they are. Yeah, wave. They might have the 250 minutes. Uh, right out. through the moon. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That is ah. pow. We did that just for you, folks. Isn't that something? Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Man, you talk about being in the right place at the right time. We got a launch tonight. <laughs> this is just too good. It doesn't get any better than this. That is just breathtaking. You know, no matter how many times you see that, it is just All we need is for Mars to be setting up there right yes. now. Yes. Beautiful. Wow. And the reason you can see it, ladies and gents, is because the sun is out there uh, about ready to peek its head up above the horizon, and it's... Uh, the angle is such that the sun can see the space station, but we can't see it. That's because it's a couple, about 200 miles above us right now. So you're looking 220 miles above the Earth right now when you look at that space station. Now you launched in these same conditions because it was dark when you launched, but when you got up on, uh, to altitude, you saw the sunrise. Didn't you, you bet. And this crew will too. I'm guessing that when they left off, they had the eastward accelerating to almost 18,000 miles an hour. Uh, the sun rises pretty quickly when you're hitting at the horizon that quickly. It rises in about 15 seconds. It takes a few minutes here on Earth, but when you're traveling that speed in the space, well, the space station right now has already seen the sunrise, or they wouldn't be in sunlight, so they've already witnessed it. That's why they, they're lit up like they are. If they weren't seeing the sun right now, they wouldn't be lit up. So the space shuttle, as soon as it lifts off and starts climbing into altitude, will experience the same thing, the sunrise. I got to see my first sunrise during liftoff, and acceleration toward the east and it's a very exciting evolution to see that sunrise in about 15 minutes so 